having a staff that has a lot of experience, which I do, with balloon dilation surgery, they were very quickly easy to learn how to use the new technology and set it up, making it easy for me and easy for them. So my first setup for the procedure would be a non-fenestrated drape. Just hold the rear edge and I just pull over. I have three gauze, four by four gauze. I do my sterile pan. My instruments, electronic instruments. And also my sinus instruments. So my instruments on the tr on the tray would be two towel clamps, Medtronic frontal seeker, spinoid, spinoid seek seeker, registration, suction, bayonet. Freer and maxillary seeker. And my balloons. This is a frontal. Maxillary. And it's pinoid. My sterile pan, I put sterile water. Just enough so that my, my inflated tubes could be filled without bubbles. Pull my inflator up, hold the tube in, straight. And I pump enough times so I don't have any bubbles and it's full. four to five times. First one she's going to use is a spinoid. I attach it to the spinoid balloon. Pass it off to Maria and she plugs it in. So for Dr. Silva's numbing of the, of the patient when they come into the room would be Two cc's of 1% lidocaine and one cc of sodium bicarbonate.
and I touch the needle onto it. My tray also has six pledgets. also has a solution of lidocaine and pontocaine. Right, so once Jackie's set up, I usually come and I put the scope into the camera and connect it to the light source. We'll put up her screen. And just make sure that the camera is capturing so that when the doctor comes in and she'll bring the patient, we'll just have everything ready. I will not turn on the light right now, only because it will get hot if I do. All right, so we're going to turn on our Medtronic Fusion screen. We're just going to go with a standard profile and hit next. And then we're going to use the standard fees for this procedure. Just go next. You're going to look for the name of your patient that you want to bring up for your surgery. If you're happy with the way the um, picture sh it looks, then you don't have to do anything else. But if you want to adjust it, there is a way to modify the images and adjust it. But since we're fine with this picture, we're just going to go to set up equipment. And as you can see, you're going to see all the equipment that we had on our tray before. And we're just going to go next to register. And this is all set up so that when the doctor comes into the room, she'll use as you can see is the headset it's showing already on the screen and the doctor will come in and register the patient with the registration tool and we're all set up once dr silver comes in she'll register the patient the next thing we do is we put the magnet in the bed You just got to make sure that the Medtronic is on top. This is our patient tracker. This is going to go on their forehead. The tracker is going to communicate with the magnet. So we'll put it up here when the patient comes in, we'll put it on them. And then the registration tool is another thing that we connect so that when the doctor is ready to come in and do her procedure, everything will be ready and set to go. Just gotta make sure that you align this with the two little holes here and that you hear a click. And that tells you that it's ready to go. We also put this on the table so that it could be ready. Um, the next thing that we do put in is the suction cup the suction also have to make sure that the two little things align and that you hear a click and this could stay on the table because it's going to be connected to the suction catheter once we're done this is our axiom box where we connect all our balloons and our instruments if you notice well, there is one that it's labeled headset from the eight ports and this one we will never remove so basically this one will stay in all the time unless there's a malfunction you got to put in a new one but you always make sure that there's a label on it so it doesn't 
get pulled out when you pull out your balloons. We're gonna start by connecting all our balloons at the same time. It makes it easier because that way during the surgery you don't have to keep pulling in and out, in and out. As you could tell, the Oxium box has eight ports and there are some extra ones. We would really not be able to use them. I mean, we will use them, but not in this case, only because once we use the registration tool, we will take this one out and just use it in one of the other instruments. But there is space for you to use all eight and we're all set up. Thank you.